what is up you guys welcome back i know it's been a while but life has been amazing i feel like usually when i've gone mia it's because life has just been lifing and things have been tough but no, this time, life has just been extremely rewarding. I've had many blessings and I just needed to focus on that. Um, so that's kind of why I've been a little MIA. But I am thinking about making a vlog for next week. Talking about um, everything that's been going on. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments area after this video, after you watch this video. So... This video is going to be about the half marathon, which honestly, the half marathon was like four weeks ago. That's how long it's been, but I refuse to not document my experience. I refuse to not tell you guys how it went because it was just so amazing. And I know a lot of you guys have been on your running journey. And so I just feel compelled to share my half marathon experience with you guys. So right after the half marathon, I did write some talking points. I am going to share with you guys six things that I learned after the half marathon that maybe I wish I knew before, or maybe these were things that I would have just not known until after the half marathon. So I'm just going to jump right into it. is to be to look up terrain and weather so if you guys have been with me for a little while you know that I did the Spartan race not last year but I guess two years ago this was literally my number one point after the Spartan race like <laughs> I don't know why I failed to do this after every single like or before every event that I do I've only done two but <laughs> I don't know why this is the one thing that I just, I don't know, I guess I just take for granted or just assume that it's going to be flat. No. So the half marathon was downtown in downtown Houston and the route that they took had so many hills. Like a lot of the hills were also like we were, they closed off a lot of the streets where the cars go and one of them is like, when it goes down, down the tunnel and you have to come back up, bro, I was dying. Like, I, I did not train at all. I easily ran 13.5 miles in my community. Maybe there were a little elevations, but not what I experienced during the half marathon. And that just, like, winded me. Like, it took everything out of me and so and plus i thought that the weather was going to be a little colder it wasn't it was sunny it was beautiful and that meant that i was super hot i i got dehydrated like halfway because i only took one water pack with me anyways that's gonna be like the next point but yeah so look up the terrain make sure you actually if you can bonus if you can actually run go try running where you're going to be doing whether it's a half marathon or full marathon go actually running there like see what it's going to feel like try it out that's going to change your life so um yeah a lot lots of hills it was hot and so i struggled the whole time number two which was what i mentioned number two is going to be hydration so i only took one water pack because it was so hot i finished that water i kid you not like five like around mile five and yes there are water stations and gatorade but there's like so many people in there i just never really stopped for it um when i got to like mile 11 i couldn't do it anymore i ran to like the gatorade station and i chugged 
like three cups which was horrible because then I like my stomach felt heavy I was just like I just did all the wrong things so it's better to have more water packs than less so if you have space for two bring two number three no new items no new items doesn't matter if they are socks if it's a shirt if it's a bra like no new items that should be like the holy law so i did not have new like clothing items but my vest my running vest which i absolutely love was new and that meant that i didn't know like my chafing points so this running vest like started digging in like on this side and i knew where to rub the ointment with my other vest so i did it there but i didn't know like the new places with this new running vest so i had blisters like huge blisters i wish i would have taken a picture but i got huge blisters because i was also hot and sweaty so like it just it dug into me and it was a mess i also saw somebody i don't know what it was but i guess her socks kept like rubbing in the back so she stopped and she took off her socks and then she was just like running in her sneakers without socks and all i kept thinking was like bloody murder bloody murder because i can't imagine that pain that you must be feeling without socks so anyways no new items no new items number four pee before you enter the location like it doesn't matter if it's behind a car like or wherever pee before you enter this location i spent about 40 minutes no maybe like 30 or 40 minutes trying to get into a porter potty because i had to pee so bad the lines were insane like insane i ended up like running behind a tree like somewhere trying to be like away from people and peeing there because the lines were insane and yes there's porta potties on the way but who wants to stop like you already started running who wants to stop and pee and then like come back and this run again like no so do your best to pee before you enter the location because the porta potties are a nightmare nightmare and they're disgusting like like brian was able he was patient and he waited on the line but he was just like it was gross so pee before you get there okay number five be kind to yourself like if this is your first half marathon be kind to yourself if you cross that finish line that is the only thing that should matter I had unrealistic expectations about what my time was going to be like and honestly like I was just so in my head even as I was running I was like I'm so slow I, like I I practice for like what is happening like why can't I do this to top it off I had my period so it was that time of the month TMI sorry everybody but my body was going through so much and here I am running like 13 miles on a hot day going up hills and yet I had the, and I finished right and yeah I had the nerve to finish and be like <sighs> just disappointed I was just sad and my husband who also ran it with me was just like oh my god like we did it like he was just so happy didn't matter what time how long it took for us to fit no he was just so happy and just proud and i had to take a moment and just just be kind to myself because it was my first half marathon the conditions were wild and number three it was a new experience right it was just like i had never done anything like that before and it was just like different 
and so I felt like I didn't do my best and even now I get a little emotional because I'm so hard on myself sometimes and I really put my heart and soul into my trainings and just when I feel like I didn't do the best I could I'm just kind of like deflated but it brings me up to point number six this is not the end don't let this be the end no matter how you did no matter how much you struggle this is not the end sign up for other runs whether it's 5k's 10k's marathons which is what i am about to start training for i am going to start training for a marathon i don't know which one yet i have kind of like what my dream would be to run a marathon and so i'm just going to keep that to myself for now but i am going to start training for a marathon even though i freaking struggled in this half marathon like no i'm gonna keep going like this is what life is about like fall down you get back up and you be the best that you can be and so even though there's like a couple of things here that i could have done better i'm i'm gonna apply that to my next run my next event the next thing that i do now i know all of these things and most likely i will learn new stuff in that event like when I do that and then I'll apply to the next one and so honestly the half marathon was just a dream like I can't stop talking about it I'm so proud of myself that I did it I'm proud of my husband that was just going to practice with me like he was just training with me to support me and in the end he realized himself that he can also do this and he ended up running the half marathon he smoked me like he smoked me so bad like this guy's time like was just phenomenal i'm gonna tell you what he waited for me at the finish line. he didn't cross he waited for me at the finish line because he said we trained for this together and i am doing this because of you and it didn't matter the time to him what mattered is that we both were gonna get to the finish line and so he waited for me i could you know this guy waited for like 20 minutes for me to reach over there and even like then like he was sending me a text like you got this come on like like this is what we trained for and then i would like push 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 and so yeah a support system is extremely important i know that sometimes it's hard to have that especially if you're like the only one in your group of friends that's doing this or in your family that's doing this but you know if you can have somebody to support you that's always amazing um but those are my six points things that i learned after the half marathon i encourage everyone to kind of push beyond what they think that they can do like everybody is capable of doing this and if you want to start small doing 5ks 10ks do that or if you want to go for the big dog like i did you know well the big dog is really the marathon but you know i said all right i'm gonna do half so um do not be discouraged do not think that it these are things that you will never be able to do because you can. Um, and so I'm a little nervous to go for a marathon because that's like, that's a lot of miles. But you know what? I'm going to give it my all. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to share my journey with you guys. I was sharing my half marathon journey, um, all the training that I did. And I am excited for all the marathon content that is coming. If you guys ran the half marathon, whether it was in New York, in Houston, or California, wherever it was, leave a comment down below. Tell me about your experience. What did you learn? Let's talk. Let's have this conversation. Join this community and and yeah i am so excited to be back and don't forget once again let me know if you guys want that little life update vlog i will totally do that next week i can do kind of like a day in my life type of thing i love you guys and i will see you guys next time bye